Welcome to Hydroponic for Beginners Part 2, where I keep a record of my first attempt at building a hydroponic system. Okay, we'll take up from what we did on Part 1, uh, and we'll be drilling an air hole um, for our air tubing in our sterite tote. Uh, now we are installing the air line. I cut it off, leaving plenty of extra. Um, then here I'm installing the air stone. Uh, the air stone is about a 10 inch long air stone. Um, it sits on the bottom. I'm going to hold it in place uh, with some hot glue. From experience with air stones, they have a tendency to try to float. Uh, so this one I wanted to make sure it didn't float, so I glued it to the bottom. Uh, then here I'm filling our system up for the first time and hoping it doesn't leak. Ah, it doesn't leak. Fantastic. Uh, so now we're going to try to see how the air stone works. I'm plugging it in and we're trying the bubbles. And look at that. The bubbles seem to work pretty good. Uh, the bubbles are important for bringing oxygen to the roots and uh, it also, as the bubbles pop and the cover is on the lid, it makes it very humid inside of the tote. Okay, here we go. We're trying the drain. The drain works just fine. You just turn the elbow sideways and it drains. Uh, and then when you stand the elbow back up uh, and put it in its holder, you can definitely see the level of the water that's inside. Uh, so, after testing those, we decided to tr test the lid. Lid looks good. Success. The system is ready. All we have to do now is plant our plants. So here we go. To plant the plants, we need a bucket of clay pellets, a bucket of water, some net pots, and some plants. Okay, I'm going to plant, show you how I planted my plants. This was a basil plant, rinsing the potting soil from the roots. I just found it easier uh, to buy these at a nursery. So I bought basil, tomatoes, and cucumbers. So now that I've rinsed them, I fill the net pots up one third with clay pellets. Uh, and I take the uh, basil plant out, and I'm going to spread the roots across the top of the clay pellets. Uh, I'm going to, after I do that, I'll support the plant with my fingers and fill up the clay pellets around the plant, being careful not to pinch the stem. Um, the pellets are pretty light, so you don't have to worry too badly about that. You just have to be careful not to break them with your fingers. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to rinse the clay pellets. The clay pellets have an orange dust on them, clay type dust on them, uh, so you have to rinse them very well. Okay, now that we're back on the deck with the system, uh, I have my helper adding the nutrients per the manufacturer's uh, instructions. It was 15 tablespoons for my 15 gallons of water. It's an 18 gallon tote. But I thought that since it was about three quarters full, it had about 15 gallons in it. So we put in 15 tablespoons to go with the 15 gallons of water. Okay. Now I'm going. Now I put the cover on. I put all the plants in except for one. The reason why I put all except one in is I'm going to fill up the tote. So the water is a half inch to one inch over the bottom of the net pots. And that's so, in the beginning, the roots will get the nutrients in the water. Uh, after the roots have actually came out of the net pots and start dangling into the water, you can reduce the amount of water that's in there. So it's a half inch to one inch below the net pots. These plants were planted on Memorial Weekend. And uh, here's the results.
these are the results as of the second week of July. We planted two tomato plants, two basil plants, and two cucumber plants in the hydroponic system. And in the buckets beside it, in the potting soil, we planted the other two tomato plants, two basil plants, and two cucumber plants. Um, as you can see, the hydroponic system, after about five to six weeks, is doing fantastic. Uh, tons of tomatoes, tons of cucumbers. Uh, the plant is huge, maybe too big. Uh, and I have to keep adding more wire to hold it on in place. As you can see, the plants that were planted in the potting soil are not doing so well. Much more yellow um, and really not producing any fruit at all. Uh, I would definitely say that by looking at this, um, hydroponics, at least in New Hampshire on my deck, seem to be a much better solution than planting in pots. Now we're going to pop open the system and take a look at the root system. It has just a simply massive root system. Um, the, pot, the, the tote is mostly filled up with roots. This is the end of Hydroponic for Beginners Part 2. I thank you for joining me.